Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. I've come on to do um, my second envelope in my friend, friendship book from the flock with um, Melissa on 70 Acre Studio. Um, and this one is from Melissa Lebon or Lebo. I'm not quite sure how you say it, hyphen Westlake. And um, I'm not very good at pronouncing words, so if I butchered it, Melissa, I'm so sorry. And her envelope, I have um, already taken all the bits off it. It is just fabulous. Flocking Feathered Friend. Uh, friendship swap is um, around the chicken and on the other side hi oh, that's just so fabulous so first off I am going to cut this open before we get into the goodies mm -hmm. so I will definitely be using this we have a lovely sunny day here, lovely winter's day that I, the type of weather I like. Cool, but sunny. And if you get into the sun, which unfortunately my craft room doesn't get, um, it is just beautiful. We've had very varied weather this, this um, winter so far. Right, now we'll get into it and see what we've got here. First off, we have a um, card. Hello Maggie, I'm Melissa. And I won't say your other name because I'll just butcher it. I'm married 30 years and have three adult children. So do I. We have two rescue dogs, Tucker and Sophie. We don't have any dogs anymore. They are siblings. Right now, I am a housewife, but hope to re-enter the workforce soon. I started toll painting. Now, I don't know what toll painting is. I'm sorry. In the early 90s, from there, I've crafted off and on. I really enjoy learning new things. I'm loving this group, The Flock. I'm loving the friendship journal swap. Best wishes, Melissa. That's fabulous. So that'll be going in there. Oh, and this is a friendship card. Oh, how cool. Um, right, now we have an envelope. And lovely paint paper and scribbled on or journaled on. It can't be read. It's really cool. That would make a nice tag. Big giant tag. Some lovely craft paper. Some thicker than others. Two sided. Very pretty. Some lovely flowers. And a burlap flower. And these are what I think are paint, paint, yeah, Vespa paint chips. How cool. And this one, the sandstone in it. It's just like sand on a, they're very cool. Painty paper, painty card, oh, both sides done. That's cool. Another painty card. It'll make that into a tag. Some thank you rub-ons. Very cool. Oh, this is lovely. That is so cool. Some more pretty papers. Oh, this is a flow envelope. How cool. We have lace and Rick Rick, I think that's called. 
Sent me the paint chips as well. Very cool. Some painted lace. Looks like it's off a dually. Painted hand towel. Toilet. Shut the door and open the wine. I would have agreed with that a few years ago, but I don't drink it anymore, unfortunately. But that is so cool. And we have a little envelope of flowers and embellishment and little yeah, painted um, feathers. These are really cool. Could be made into little birds, those. Just what they look like. Awesome. All right. I'll just pop those back in there for now. So we don't lose them. And let's see what we're going to start with. First off, I think I'm going to put this envelope down and I think cut that off there. Because if I don't, it jams up the middle of the book. from where I've taken off the labels. Keep that. See how well I did it. Oh, well, that's good. That is good. Yeah. Right, and this is quite heavy, so I think I'm going to put some um, double-sided tape on it. My youngest, well, no, not my youngest. Yes, my youngest granddaughter. She's coming up 13 in a couple of weeks. Um, she's a class captain at school. And today is her day to um, run the school assembly and organise a guest speaker and... She is a very, very shy girl, so she's done it very well, so I'll be interested to see how that goes tonight, when I, or this afternoon when I pick her up. Right, Need some glue. We do have an HRV in our house which um, keeps the moisture out of the house and um, circulates the air and what have you, takes fresh air from out in the ceiling and brings it in. And because it's such a sunny day today, it is pumping nice um, warm air into my craft room, so it's quite nice in here today. Oh, didn't cut it quite straight, but never mind. Right, I have that there. And we're going to have our friend over here on the other side. Just make sure that, making sure that I am in. out quite good to be able to cut out cut off the um, the shutter the clasp put the 
this on this side like that that's so cool right what else has gone on her elder sister Bethany she had her their assessments for the year because she's in um, Oh, I don't know what you'd call it in America is it O levels or A levels or something like that it's the ones that um, when you're getting to the last few years of high school before you go on to we call it university, but I think you call it college. And um, so they had um, their assessments for how they're doing for the year. And here, for the first levels, you do first levels this year, second level next year, and you have to get 80 credits to pass. And um, she has 34 already. And every class, every teacher just said the same thing, how wonderful she is and no problem. She's getting excellence and merits in everything she's doing. So that's really cool. Especially considering her crones um, has her having a lot of time off off school. Right now, what do we want to put at the top? Well, I think we really need to have this here. We have two friends. So we need to have this bit here. Let's trim this bit off. Does anybody um, wear compression gloves for their arthritis? I have it in my this part here, and I find it quite difficult holding little bits like that and I was just wondering were they worth buying now I need to show up a little bit better than that All right. let's see what we've got I don't know if I want to use that as an envelope or not Hmm. Needs to be on something just so it shows up. I might just stick that to a bit of a piece of white um, computer paper, a uh, printer paper. All right, let's dry that off. I'll just give it a trim. Oh, Had some other news that I oh, how could I forget that? Should I open with it? I finally got my monitor. Monetization, I think you'd call it, back on my channel. You all know they changed the rules and yet to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand viewing hours and I've had those for quite a while I'm almost up to fourteen hundred um, subscribers and six thousand viewing hours so I finally got them back and I was going to have 
my vintage journal as a giveaway prize um, when it happened. But with my husband being sick and what have you, I haven't finished it as yet. And it's getting pretty thick, so I think I'm going to oops, have my... giveaway in conjunction with my 1500 subscribers when that comes that will give me time to finish it and I'll have two prizes so I'm looking forward to that and I'll have to get on with my right now what are we going to do we have this up here no we might have some paper Let's see what we've got in the way of pretty papers to go up here. Anyway. Yep. I'm going to have these up here like this. So, let's measure that. See how far it comes off. Awesome. Oops, we've got two there. And I'll quickly have this one. Have this one. So I'm quite excited about getting those back because I had earned money before they swap took it off that I've had just sitting there. Because in New Zealand, um, it has to be $130 before you can withdraw it. So it's quite a nice little sum for um, buying new craft products. I have been thinking that I might like to have a... Um, Tim Holt Craft mat. I've been looking at them and they are quite cool. Alright, that there. And that there. And then join our no. I'll have this in the middle like that because these are going the opposite way and they can go at the sides the date today the 29th here in New Zealand and it is hmm, almost 12 o'clock 11.52 glue on there husband's in bed for the morning, he's not feeling all that well. Right, get that stuck down. 
and it merges in much nicer there like that too just like it's a continual piece oh, it's looking cool I like that right now I'm going to put the, all these colours at this end. Right. So what else is going on? Not a great deal. The great grandbaby is uh, all doing well. All doing well. The ones that live in this town, there's only two that live here. My oldest granddaughter tonight's coming adrift. My oldest granddaughter's two children live here. Young Logan's just a couple of month, uh, a couple of weeks off turning five and going to school full time. Again, Nan who does all the um, travelling around for them, just looking forward to that because she'll just have to go to the one place instead of going to kindy to pick him up and then school to pick his sister up so she'll be looking forward to that she's busy organizing all the stuff for his fifth birthday oops he wants his birth fifth birthday at the hot pools this year so they're getting all organized too do that. All right, let's turn this around. Right. Turn it back, get rid of all the little lacy bits there. Whoops, made a bit rough there. All right. Went out and bought new napkins and bought the more expensive ones thinking they would be better but they're not. They're thin and made the same mistake last time I think which is very annoying. Right, now I quite like that, I think that's quite cool. So what are we going to do now? Can't do that because I'm going to, so I think I'm going to trim him or her. It's very pretty so it must be him because in nature men are always the pretty coloured ones and the females are always the dull dull ones <coughs> just a smaller pair of scissors with bigger grips I want a pair of Tim Holt ones they have nice big grips on them and everybody seems to like them but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them here I might have to buy those from Amazon not the greatest of fussy cutters these days
Right. That's good. Now I have somewhere. I don't know where I've put it now. It's always the way. Oh, I've got an exacto knife somewhere, but I can't think where oh excuse me where I put it. So I'll use this big one. Done. Take this inside bit out. Not as good as this as I used to be. It's the shaky hands. I've got that. Okay. Don't push hard enough in places. There we go. There we go. Put that up there, I think. my tie. So I don't know if I'm going to use that one. It's a bit fat. I have these. Right. I want some glue to glue those down. I have these down there. Oops. I have this one on this side so it shows up. And pull those off without destroying the flowers. It makes it easier to um, hold them down. Whoops, want to use a little. A little. Oh, so sorry about that. I was putting these little flowers down. one here I think. Just take off the little foam bit so it doesn't stick up so much. Yeah, I'll put this here. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I put this on, I'm going to be covering stuff up, which is which is a bit of a bit of a nuisance. I might not use the card. I might keep the card and put it in my card journal that I'm going to make. Make a pocket somewhere so that I can have tags in. It's going to have to be here. All right, let me see. Just make it a little tuck spot like that that they can just tuck under because then it can be taken out and you can see I'm going to leave this one here with that there 
in a text pod here, which will be an idea. And we won't we won't bend it because if we bend it, it will um, won't hold. Now, I'm going to cut the side. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it the blue side. This might have this side. We will do there. Really good. Burnish down. I think I'm going to put that there like that. Now a little tag will just hold under like that. I might put a little wee something there. That'll Hold it down. Might be, might be an idea that. Now we're going to go there, and I think I'm going to put a bit of this tape down because it will hold it better. Just trim this. you like that. Like that. Right. Oops. Put that out the road. I'll put a oh. make this into a tag. Now we have got some lace and stuff somewhere here. some more on something else. Alright. Put them together. hunting for my little um, piece of wire that I use for threading I could use the wire again to slip it through here. 
I don't usually have so much trouble doing this, but with my fingers not wanting to work properly, we just got to um, do the best we can, or I'd have to use it. Or not craft, and that's just not an option. Right, let's see if I can do this. Get that through there. Yeah. Pull those through. Let's see if we can tidy this up. Mm. Not too much effort. There we go. I'm gonna pull up the orange. Oh, damn it. Well, that was not good. I'm just going to have to make it a little bit shorter. I'm so sorry, Melissa. Right. I will make it and be back when it's done. All right, I've decided to just go with the one because I don't want to rip it again. I've got that in there. Open out the top. And I have got some more lace here. And I think I'm going to glue it down the edge. Very lovely lace. Pardon me. This one down this side. Right. right, I have lots of people ask me what this glue is. It's premium quality craft liquid glue and it um, is made by Creative. It's just a very, oh, I think it costs a couple of dollars for that. Not very expensive at all. Right, now we're going to put our bird here. But it does hold down these heavier things or lace. And it dries reasonably quickly and clear, of course. But it just grips and holds it a little bit better than the PVA school glues. And it doesn't get it as wet. All right. I'm just going to put you in there. Okay. Just hold you down for a minute. So it grabs. Yeah. Awesome. Like that. Alright, now where is our little bag of goodies gone. The desk starts out lovely and clean and just slowly gets muckier and muckier. Oh, staring me right in the eye. 
but of course the stuff is right down here where I left it. I hope that other people are just as doolally as me. But these little flowers here are so cute that I might just add them to the to the little wee pockety thing here. Right, now I've got a little wee um, flower punch here and I think I'm going to see what I can do. Let's see what that looks like, just to give it a little bit of colour. Cool. Turn it over so I can see what I'm doing. Just give them a little bit of dimension. So that's what we're looking like. Now I'm going to clean this one down here. It's a little wee flip, I think, so that I can some things into it. Oh, sorry. Right, what time are we getting on? It's a long video, I might have to cut it. Oh, it's not what I was going to do, but I've done it now, so too late. going to get their little feathers are going to get glued around around like this I think cool. oh, I've got some more flowers here I don't realise I had these ones I would have set them on the top goes over this one. Maybe not. Maybe I'll glue them down here. Alright. Alright. Yep. I'm going to put... Oops. Oh, put that down and I didn't even take the um, backs off. That was just 
plain out silly. Here we go. Put it there. Put it there. Little embellishments, little feathers. Slip around up here. Up a bit. All right, now this one here. Where am I going to put you? I might just put you there like that too. Just like that. Just like that. Right. Liking that. Right. Just put that one in there as a little wear. Now I have this greasy or somewhere. I think I might just have to do another page for um and I'm really quite happy with this page. When I find her address here, I will put it in there. But I don't want to, uh, to get it too mucked up. And I'm really quite liking that. So I think I'm going to leave that like that. And I'll come back another day and do another another page. So I hope you like that, Melissa. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong, and I'll catch you again soon.